I'm going to invite you to get cozy and maybe adjust the way you're seated if you need to and to close your eyes or to lower your gaze, whatever feels comfortable. And we'll begin by taking a few nice, slow, deep breaths. You might breathe in through your nose. And maybe breathe out through your mouth. Maybe not your own rhythm. might just notice now that you're a bit more in the body, if your body wants to move even more, your body may want to stretch. It might need to roll your shoulders or twist the spine. It's moving however you need to. Come into the body a bit more. And I'll invite you to feel your feet on the floor or on the chair if you've got your feet up. Noticing where your body makes contact with your chair and your sit bones, legs, maybe your back. You might just notice in your body if it needs anything else before we begin the, the centering practice. If you already know how to focus, maybe you want to clear some space. Maybe you're noticing some thoughts that are getting in the way. So you can put that beside you. Just take a moment, acknowledge whatever's there, and then tell it you'll come back to it. And for now, we're just going to put all that down. You can put it at the right distance from you. Sometimes we have things we want to put outside in the hall. Or sometimes we just put it beside us. So once you have some space inside, we're going to invite the body to give us a memory. A memory when, of a time when you felt calm. And this could be a memory in nature, maybe somewhere outdoors, could be a place of awe or being carefree, but it could also be inside, it might be with a pet or cozy with a book. So something calm or relaxed, grounded, a memory, something like that. And you might have many memories coming. So you can give yourself some time for your body to choose one. Just notice which one calls to you. And once you land on a memory, you can notice, where are you? Did you end up inside or outside? What's the space like? What time of year is it? What's the temperature? Maybe the humidity? What sounds do you hear in your memory? Maybe there's some smells. In this calm, grounded memory. And 
And what are you doing in the memory? Are you moving? Are you still? Are you alone or with others? Other beings, including plants or mountains or water, maybe a pet or a friend who's there. And now I invite you to bring your attention lower in the body. Sensations are there now that weren't there before. Are they in one area or in multiple areas? Are they only inside the body or do they extend beyond the skin? And notice how else you can describe them. Maybe there's a shape or a size. Maybe the sensations move somehow, have a density or a pulsing. Are they warmer or cooler than the rest of you? Is there a color quality? Is there anything else to describe the sensations and, and have they changed a little bit as we've been with them? Sometimes they intensify or sometimes they dissipate. And now we can ask the body a question. We can ask, what's so special about this memory? How does it bring me calm? How your body answers that question. Do any of the physical sensations change in any way? We're inviting our body to tell us something we don't know about the memory, some sort of meaning, maybe a facet we haven't noticed before that's in there. You might notice what emotions are present. If something comes with a meaning, you might have more than one emotion. We're gonna invite the body for a name for this memory. It might be a word, it could be the place or the emotion. It could also be an image or a gesture or a sound. Any way for your, you to remember this place, this calm place that you have. And something might come quickly and clearly. Or maybe it's a bit fuzzy. So if it's fuzzy, I invite you to go back and forth to the memory and the details and what you're feeling in your body. And then kind of trying on the different options that are coming, noticing which one fits closer, which one resonates the most.
And when you have something, I'll invite you to come back. And you can take a few moments and do a body card. If you if you have if you don't have a body card, you can draw the shape of a body. You can do like a gingerbread man kind of <laughs> shape. And then you can draw the sensations that came up for you with color if you have pencil crayons. Um, and then you can also record the four aspects of the felt sense that we touched on. So we looked at physical sensations, feelings, thoughts, and memories. Handle the word or phrase or image that your body named the memory. So we'll take two minutes. <laughs> 